Since Ersted's return to the lineup following post-concussion syndrome, Anaheim's won 16 and lost just three. Now, I could bore you with numbers like Ersted's hitting 357 over that stretch, 13 RBIs and 18 runs scored, but manager Mike Sosha says, I don't have to. He says, you don't need to give me any statistics to explain how important Ersted is to this club. That time for the Royals to make their first appearance against the AL West and against their former teammate Kevin Apier facing Jill Randa. David Eckstein is there. You know, you can't spell glove without love. They get the force, get Apier out of an early jam. Bottom first, Garrett Anderson. No relation. Uh, Blake Stein. That drops. Chuck Knobloch. He's throwing. David Eckstein's running. And he is safe. one nothing in favor of the Angels. Next batter up, Brad Fulmer. That's how it happens. A little shot, Carlos Beltran. He's got a throw. Troy Gloss run a little bit uphill, but he's in safe. Two nothing Angels. They're just playing that small ball they like to play. Still in the first, got Spezio. Here comes Beltran, gonna try and hose down another one, but Garrett Anderson. Angels just basically got a relay team running around here out in the field. They go top seven, five one Angels. Apier trying to get his record to five and one. Facing Mark Quinn. Adam Kennedy. He was the only Angel in the whole lineup without a hit, but he did that. And that might be just as important. Angels going to win it by a count of 6-3 and in a timely manner. Halo 17-3 and three in their last 20. Averaging more than seven and a half runs per game during that streak. Ersted 1-4 and RBI triple. Get out. Nice bullpen car. Bottom six, Tigers down 3-2. Ramon Santiago facing Bartolo Colon. Santiago drives one into that little triangle out there. Matt Lawton finally picks it up. Santiago, now he's got glory in his heart, but he's only got a triple in his legs because he's out, well, it's 90 feet from third to home, and he was out by about 57 feet. Drive still up three to two. Bottom seven, Tiger still down. Ricardo Rincon facing Randall Simon. That ball eats up Travis Fryman. Jacob Cruz scores, game tied at three. Fryman's fourth air of the year. Next batter, Wendell McGee. You know, you cannot give a good team like the Tigers extra outs. They will make you pay. McGee back through the middle. Dimitri Young would score. Tigers go up 4-3. And then Anderson in the dugout. Unavailable. Sore arm. Had nothing to do with throwing the seafood. He just got off the DL Saturday, so they're going to let him rest. And Jamie Walker in to save it, facing Lawton. And Matthew Lawton the third. Get in this house right now. 4-6-3, double play. Tigers hold on to win it 4-3. Julio Santana picked up the win in relief. Now tied with Jeff Weaver for the team lead and wins with three. The earliest Ken Griffey Jr. could return would be Friday when the Reds open a three-game series in Atlanta. It's been six weeks since Jr. injured his right knee, and the prognosis was he'd be out three to six weeks. Griffey still has soreness and tenderness in the knee, and although the team has increased his jumping and his running, they're saying Friday at the earliest, but, quote, that's not definite. Reds wrapping up a four-game set in St. Louis. Dan Patrick, Rich Eisen talking to each other on cell phones. Before the game, Jim Edmonds talked about mechanics. I've always had a natural swing to left, left center field, and I've worked over the course of the year to learn how to pull the ball over the course of the years. And um, just staying low and using my legs, and, and the thing that I, I think that when I make contact through the zone, and I'm not leaning forward, I'm not on my toes, I'm still in a, in a hitting position, and when I make contact, I'm still almost like I'm leaning back. Rick Sutcliffe getting a bird's eye view there, and bottom three, Edmonds leans into that one, his 10th of the year, a two-run shot, and it's 4 nothing Cardinals. Top five, two on, two out for Austin Kearns. To center, and Edmonds is out there again. Juan Encarnacion, they're waving him in. Edmonds with a great throw, and Encarnacion is meet. Bob Boone, your thoughts? Thank you. Kern said he thought Encarnacion was safe, too. Watch again. As he rounds third, we circle him, and he's looking back in center field at Edmonds. He knows he's got a good arm, and, you know, despite the look back and the slow up there, rounding third looks like, uh, yeah, he was in there. But he was called out. Top six, Woody Williams rings up Adam Dunn. Williams allowed just five hits over six scoreless innings, struck out five. Next guy goes down two. That's Todd Walker, and the Cardinals win 7-3. They take three or four from the NL Central leaders, outscoring the Reds 23-12 in the series. Tino starting to heat up. Eight hits in his last 18 at bats. St. Louis has won nine of 11. They trim since his division lead to three games. Scratch from his start with a sore back. Sterling Rich got gone for his first start of the season. It's a 1 2 3 first. So Jose Cruz Jr. waves at it. Brandon Leon facing Bernie Williams in the bottom half of the first. And well, that's awfully far. That's not a little tiny home run. That's a very big one that time. Look at the Pelicans, Manny. Two zip Yankees. Williams' ninth home run. Hitchcock to Vernon Wells. 
That gets through. Tom Wilson will score three straight RBI singles. Dozen Hitchcock. Last four innings, three runs, three allowed. And Nick Johnson helping out. That's going to score Robin Ventura. We're tied at three. Johnson's 23rd RBI of the season. Top five, same score. Miro Mendoza. It's Delgado. That's a home run if we're playing in a silo. Derek Jeter, he's dreaming. Oh, no, he's so all is. that in. Mendoza, three innings, one hit, three strikeouts. Felix ready on dealing to Ventura. And Ventura, that also has good distance and even better aim. Look out for the honk pole. 4 3 Yanks. Ventura's 12th homer tied for the AL lead. The Yanks end up winning it by a count of 6 to 3. The Yanks make it 3 doesn't really. You got the 12 homers for Ventura. 12 straight games with a homer for the team and 12 wins. To his mother's funeral. Top one, low strikes out Maglia Ordonez. Top two, he rings up Jose Valentin. Low through 102 pitches Monday night, 66 for strikes. Top three, Mark Johnson. No my Garcia Para. That's defensive support. Next batter, Royce Clayton, Nomar again. In his last four starts, Derek Lowe has 63 ground ball outs and eight fly ball outs. Bottom three, Shea Hillenbrand. Say hello to my little friend. And this is a little home run. His ninth, 5 0 Boston. 303 feet, Jerry Rennie. It's not possible to hit a shorter home run at Fenway, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a little home run. Hill and Brand receives awkward male hugs. Top four, low strikes out, Ordonez. Oh, he's in a groove. Top five, after a walk to Paul Canerco, the sinker getting more ground ball outs. Frank Thomas, and that's a 6-4-3. Two outs for the next batter, Jose Valentin. This one goes to Nomar, and wicked stretch by Tony Clark. Close out of the inning. Red Sox providing lots of support. Veritek, three for three. Clark, Daubach, Nomar, all two for four. Top seven, Kenny Lofton at third. Ordonez taps it in front. Here comes Lofton, and Lowe nails him at home. Look again, Jason Veritek with a nice block of the plate, and unlike Manny, Lofton going in feet first. Thank you. Next batter, Paul Canerco, and he swings at the sinker for strike three. Lowe with seven Ks on the night, inning over. Top eight, hurts so good. To shallow center, and Johnny Damon sticks the landing. Derek Lowe allowed two hits over eight shutout innings, walked only two guys. Look again, Damon with a nice sliding grab, and the Red Sox win 9 0. Lowe allowed only four batted balls out of the infield. He lowers his league leading ERA to 1.90. Now remember, Lowe started the season by taking a no hitter into the eighth inning then actually threw a no-no April 27th, and in this start, 23 days after the no-hitter, allows only two hits over eight innings. Red Sox, 30 and 11. That's the best record in the major leagues. Derek Lowe leads the major leagues in opponents'